Welcome to the video guys. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the first oil change on this 2021 GMC Sierra 1500. Stay tuned. All right, first things first, uh, vehicle, um, I put it on the ramps, just that way it gives me a little bit more clearance. Um, this is the first oil change I've done on this, so it's going to be um, probably a little bit slow moving because i never done an oil change on this one, but we'll figure out here how it goes. I'm thinking it's gonna take the uh, standard you know filter wrench i know the filter standard but uh filter wrench and then the drain plug i'm hoping it's just a regular screw but we'll find out um one thing i did notice on this newer gmc truck it takes the 020 on this 5.3 v8 uh so this is the 5.3 liter you know they've been around for a while um but dexos so it has to be full synthetic 020 um different than the other ones but um, other than that um this vehicle was bought new and so it's uh gonna be about a year next month and it only has 2195 miles so far so we're doing the first oil change because it's been a year so we're gonna do one year um i would say one year 3,000 miles that's why i sent my other video you saw my truck um, had about 3,000 miles. Um, this one's gone to the one year mark, so we're gonna do the oil change at the one year with 2,100 miles. So we'll see what the oil looks like. Uh, all right, so we're getting under the truck here. Um, uh, looks like we have a cover back here. Um, uh, <laughs> um, so well, it looks like it's going to be uh, at least these four 13 millimeter screws um, to access where the oil pan is, looks like. All right, so before I took this uh, plastic pieces off, um, I crawled in here a little bit farther and realized you uh, don't have to take any of these plastics off. Filter is right there and the drain plug is right there. So pretty easy to access to. Don't need to take any of those things off. Um, you could probably crawl into the side of the vehicle and um, you know, if you have a four wheel drive, you have more clearance, but now I don't know with the four wheel drive if there'll be anything in the way, but with this one, um, everything's right there. So I'm just gonna take off the old filter, drain plug, drain it out, put the new one in. I'm just waiting for the oil to drain completely so uh, one thing I will say with 2100 miles on this oil I mean I know it's a 020 so it's really thin oil but um, this thing was like it's like water I mean look at this it's uh, it's pretty I mean you can kind of see it kind of brownish um, kind of like a red uh, hue on it but it's really really watery um you know to be completely honest i don't know personally i mean i would only do tops of 3000 miles on this kind of oil um we'll see i'm gonna put castor oil i don't know what oil it's in there probably ac delco but uh you know that oil just it just looks so like water um and it is for only being 2000 miles it is you know a little bit on the dark side i think for the engine being brand new so um i definitely wouldn't go you know the 7500 miles they recommend whatsoever uh, that's just my opinion but anyways 
Um, I did get an AC Delco filter here, so I'm gonna put the factory AC Delco filter, um, put it back on, clean, you know, here around. It's so watery that my floor is full of little drops where it's splatter. I don't know if it got any on the camera, I probably did, but um, I just really don't like that it's so watery. So let me put that drain plug back on, you filter, and then we'll go up top and fill it in. I think this takes like eight quarts, so it's quite a bit of oil in there. up here of the engine bay remove the fill cap so remember 0 20 dexas I like the fact that it has this uh, you know spout all the way up put your funnel in there lay it in there it's not gonna fall over So I'm gonna go ahead and start by pouring some of this. And this is a five quart jug, so I'm gonna pour all of it. And I'm gonna check the owner's manual. I know I read, um, and the General Motors website, I think it was like eight quarts, but I just want to double check on the owner's manual to make sure that's correct. So, A lot of oil did come out of there, so I'm pretty sure it is going to be quite a bit. Let me check the owner's mind. Give me just a second. All right, so it's eight quarts of oil when you change the oil and filter. So we put five, um, three more quarts, and it should be full. And it's just a That was about one quart. I don't want to overfill it. All right, need about one more. All right, so that's eight quarts. All right, make sure we don't spill any of this and we'll put the lid back on. So that's all set. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the hood and then we're gonna go ahead and reset the uh, oil light inside. So we're inside the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Make sure your oil goes up. Um, so it does have the change oil soon display. 
So now you're gonna go on your menu here. Uh, from home, you go right until, you know, it has the, this gives you kind of like different things. Air filter life, you know, all that. Um, so we're gonna go to the oil change and then you just hit the center to reset it. There we go, 100%. So now we're just gonna go back to regular and that's all set. Uh, I am gonna put a little sticker here on the windshield but the other thing that I like to do is um, Carfax, you can track your vehicle's maintenance. So if you wanna see that, uh, go check out my F-150 video. Um, the first oil change, I showed how to, to uh, track your vehicle maintenance in there I believe. And so that way you can keep track and it also reports it on your Carfax every time you do your oil change. So if you do your DIY oil change, you don't have, you know, you have a record um, when people pull a Carfax. That way they know you change your oil. And so, you know, that helps out. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Hit a thumbs up. Any questions, comments. We'll see you on the next one.